come back from the future. Yesterday in Union Grove, a guy kidnapped his ex-girlfriend, and then later on, he exchanged shots with some police officers at a Piggly Wiggly. He got away, and they searched for him pretty much all through the night. And then today, sometime probably around like 1, uh, they found him about a quarter of a mile away from my house. So, let me give you a uh, little bit more to go off of here. Alright, here's my house, right here. Nice little, nice little suburban, quiet neighborhood. Here's where they found the guy. He was hiding in the bushes, which leads me to believe that he probably had, like, family or friends in the area who were gonna, like, pick him up later. And they found him, and he threatened to shoot himself in the head, which he later ended up doing, so they took him over to the hospital. And that's... that's a little close to home for me. That's a little too close to, to my location. So when I got home, there were helicopters just going back and forth, and I thought, oh crap, did they not find the guy yet? Is he close by? But no, that was just the news. They were doing a little segment, you know. Because while they were looking for him, everything was pretty hush-hush, because I think the cops didn't want people to find out, like, his general location, so they, would, they wouldn't try to help him, which is, which is actually a pretty good protocol, but, so, now there's just a swarm of news like that's pretty much all they're talking about now so that was exciting and a little bit scary it snowed again last night it's like it's what the official start of spring was a few days ago and there's there's like an inch of snow on the ground well less than an inch but there's there's snow that's that's ridiculous just a week ago I was thinking about wearing shorts and now there's snow Ugh. You procrastinated a lot more last year than I do now past me, and I think yesterday's video was one of the final nails in the coffin for my procrastination. Uh, and you do get a really good grade on that history test. You get like an A, which actually bumps your grade, your final grade, up to an A, and not just a B, as you thought. So, you have that to look forward to and you do get better. You still procrastinate a little bit, but you're not as bad as you were a year ago.